Well, Liam, you're back sitting in the Liberty Stadium stands. It's taken a little bit of time today to get the transfer finalised, but you've been away for all of seven months, and now you're back. You must be absolutely delighted. No, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, like you say, uh, it's, it took a while today for it to go through, but obviously now it's gone through. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon to to be back, uh, you know, training in the Swansea kit, City kit and being sat here in Liberty, and you know, I just can't wait to get, get back on, on the pitch and, and be part of the squad. You trained with the boys the first time this morning. Uh, it must have been strange, and, and there was a bit of banter flying around as well, wasn't there? Yeah, it's a bit strange. Like I say, um, you know, a bit of banter flying about, which which I knew was going to come my way. Um, but the lads, you know, the lads are great. They, they were brilliant with me when I, you know, when I left. And uh, today, coming back into training, exactly the same. You know, a great bunch of lads, and they welcomed me back. And uh, like I say, got a bit of stick, but you know, I knew it was going to come. Turn the clock back, obviously, to the end of last season when you left Swansea for Sheffield United. What what was the reasoning behind that? Obviously, there was a few reasons. Um, you know, people said about the manager. Yeah, the manager was uh, an issue for me. I think, um, you know, wasn't a relationship where we we argued a lot or anything like. It was a bit of a strange relationship, a bit of a strange one as well. But you know, obviously, obviously that was there. And financially, like I said before, it was a big decision for me. I was 27 at the time. It was arguably the, going to be the biggest contract in my career so that was to be thought about as well and um, you know there was a few a few factors in it and um, obviously I had to decide and you know I decided to to leave Swansea. And what was the reasonings for, for coming back for, from Sheffield? Just you, know, you realise how much uh, you know you missed the place when you know I've been away and uh, obviously at Sheffield United things didn't work out for me um, probably the way both both wanted it to work out. I think the football probably wasn't wasn't suited to me. It didn't bring out the best of my abilities. And obviously, Swansea is a, obviously is a club that's close to my heart, and um, you know a, a style of play which is pretty unique and, and probably brings out the best of my game. And uh, as soon as I I heard they might be interested in, in speaking with the club, and I just had my fingers crossed that it would come off. And I'm, you know, I'm delighted that it has. I know hindsight's a wonderful thing, but sometimes you don't appreciate what you've got until till you've lost it. Yeah, it's, it's, you're exactly right. I think uh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone, I suppose. And like I say, if we had hindsight, no one would make the wrong decisions in life. And I made my decision in the summer uh, at that time based uh, in that moment in my life. And obviously now six or seven months down the line, I sit here and, and it was a mistake. I, you know, I've got to be honest, it was a mistake. And I'm just, you know, chuffed to bits that... The manager, obviously, Brendan Rodgers, first and foremost, likes me and wanted to bring me back. And, and that the, the chairman and the club wanted to try and make the deal happen. And, uh, you know, I'm just really delighted that this, this, that's, a, that's been able to happen. Must be a little bit relieved as well that they've given you, I suppose, I suppose a second chance. Yes, yeah, it is a second chance. That's the way I look at it. It's a, it's a chance that, you know, maybe other clubs or, or other managers or chairman uh, might have said, no, you know, you made your decision six or seven months uh, before... You know, we, we've moved on as a club. You know that that's it, and you'd have to understand if the club done that. But I've been very fortunate that the club have, like, say, have granted me the second chance. And um, obviously, in the time I've been away, I know what I've been missing and and how much I missed the place. So, um, you know, I'm going to make sure, which I did before, is give 100% and, and make sure I enjoy it. I know you've been uh, following the Swans from afar, and you, you're back in Swansea quite regular as well. I understand you went up to Wigan as well to watch the Carling Cup tie with Swansea in with the away fans. Uh, a little bit apprehensive about that? Yeah, a little bit. I, it, it, as soon as the draw got made, I, it, I was hoping um, to go and watch the, the Swans, whoever they got. Hopefully, if it was up up the north somewhere, and obviously being Wigan with uh, the Roberto factor, it was only an hour away from me. So I thought I'm gonna gonna go to the game, and I spoke with Monks, and you know, he said, "Can you leave me a few tickets?" And he said, "Yeah." I said. What do you reckon the reception's going to be? Like, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried. I don't know whether to go in the Wigan. And he said, "Oh no, it should be all right, mate. It should be all right." So, obviously, I went to the game, and the reaction of the fans was brilliant. You know, they was, uh, you know, singing my name and, and wishing me well and thanking me for, you know, what I'd, uh, I'd done at the club before. And, you know, going home from from the ground that night was a, it was a special night. You know, even though I wasn't part of the club, it, it showed what the, you know, what the fans thought of me in that time. Did it obviously pull on the heartstrings and? sort of missing home that much more yeah a little bit obviously when you you have a situation like that when people are, a lot of familiar faces you know friends obviously fans but there's a lot of people in there that I know well and friends and 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 seeing them and like you say it does hit home a little bit I did miss Swansea obviously before that as, as a city as well but things like that when you see them people it does hit home and and you do realize you know I am missing the football club and the city and 
if there ever was a chance I could go back, you know, I'd, I'd take it with both hands. I know we're talking about home here, but you're a London boy. Do you class Swansea now then as, as home? I do. I think I have probably did before, but I think um, now being away, I, you know, like I say, I'm a London boy, but now, you know, I've, I'm based in Swansea. My girlfriend's from here. I've always said when I finish my career, if I didn't come back, i would be looking to stay in Swansea. So I do class it as my home. I think, you know, my family probably think, why aren't you going to come back to London? And my mates probably think the same when I, when I say I'm going to be in Swansea after I finish. And they're a bit like, oh, what do you mean? But uh, for me, it is home. It, I've got a lot of friends here. There's probably more friends here than, than I have in London. So for me, it is home. I mean, first arrived here, I think it was December 2002, wasn't it? So it's been a long association with the club. So it must have been strange that, that week building up to when Swansea went to Bramall Lane uh, to play Sheffield United. Yeah, and that was, uh, like I say, I've been at the club a, a long time, I see. Um, it's uh, obviously been at the club a long time, and like I say, for, for eight or nine year, eight years. And uh, it was a strange day um, playing against Swansea, obviously, uh, at Bramall Lane and, and the week leading up to it, speaking about... Joe Allen or Darren Prattley or this is how they play and it felt as obviously you know, you've got to be professional but it felt as they're talking about my mates and lining up in the tunnel um, and seeing the boys and speaking to them before and after the game and on the pitch it was it was a strange it was a strange day you know it was a it was a weird one and in a way I'm, I'm glad that this has happened before um, you know me having to return to the Liberty in a, in a in an opposing shirt because that I think would have been even even more difficult to deal with like didn't do us any favours though, because he took all all the points to you and a bottle of champagne for your performance. <laughs> well, I didn't score the goal. Well, I think uh, well that was never going to happen. But um, obviously, you got to be professional. Obviously, you know, I, I, I was with Sheffield United. I contracted to Sheffield United. Um, you know, maybe some people say a draw would be the best result. Um, but you know, I had to, I had to try and play well on the day. Uh, obviously, Sheffield United got the three points, and I got a bit of stick off some of the boys like Gary Monk and Pratt and a few of the lads, but. You know, you have to be professional. Obviously, uh, you know, I was contracted to Sheffield, and I had to do that. And he couldn't leave Tatey walk away with the longer serving player. So you're back now, although he's adamant that six months, uh, seven months break. I bet he is. I bet he's, uh, he's. I bet he's been mentioning that. But I think um, I'm sure he had a break as well. I think when I signed in 2003, he went back to Man U. So he's had a little break. I know. Uh, obviously, he stayed the, the whole time since then. But you know, we'll have a we'll have a little bit of banter about that and see who can maybe uh, finish on the most games. And Barnsley Saturday, I uh, understand you, you're including the squad, Brendan has said, so I suppose you can't wait now to pull that uh, shirt back on. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to be jumping back on the bus, um, being part of the squad, singing singing on uh, tomorrow night in the hotel and, like I say, being being involved again in a match day, um, back in a swan shirt, uh, whether it be you know on the pitch or whether it be on the bench, just to be back and around amongst it. I'm absolutely um, buzzing and you know I probably won't sleep on Friday night. So you've come back with the club in, in, a, in a great position, second in the championship and, and looking good for promotion, whether that's automatic or, or playoffs. They're in a great position, aren't they? Fantastic position, like I say, second in the league. Um, gone so well this season so far, and uh, you know the squad's very strong. I don't think too many players have left um, since last season, and obviously um, the managers brought in a few players. Uh, you look up front now; we've got a lot of pace up front, and I think the dynamics of the, t- the team's changed a little bit. I think. A bit more attacking, um, you know, closing down a lot higher up the pitch rather than sitting back, which we might have done last year. And obviously that's served the team well, and, and that's why they're, you know, in such a such a good position. FA Cup the week after, you you cup tied for the FA Cup with Sheffield? Yeah, I'm cup tied. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm you know obviously gutted about that, but I played against Aston Villa mm. uh, for Sheffield, so um, obviously I'm I'm not eligible to play against Leighton Orient.